Hello there, YouTubers. I just wanted to get this documented before it leaves. This is the Techniques model RSM250 cassette deck from the early 1980s. As you can see, there it is, playing back a cassette. As we uh, zoom up close, you can uh, see what this can do. Up there, of course, eject button, power on button right there, headphones, this is a metal capable cassette deck. You can see right down there, you get a nice view at the heads, head assembly, I do quite like that actually, it's kind of unique. SX record and playback head, and of course, the back then almost obligatory microprocessor logic control. So two motor system as well. And there it is, pre-recorded cassette playing. Can't have any audio because of copyright. Guess we're all used to that at this point. Up there we have a selector switch in kind of an unusual spot. Uh, timer record. And then down below, memory. This does have a digital counter system with memory. Stop, off, play and repeat. Repeat, of course, uh, is well, I'm actually I'm not entirely sure how that would be done. I'm not sure if it can actually memorize the numbers down there on the counter. If it can, of course, it would just go from zero to the number you've selected. As I said, not sure how that works. Counter reset is right next to that. Below that, we have our array of function controls: record, pause, record, mute. A rewind, a playback with a kind of unique triangular shaped LED and fast forward. Down there is stop and then next to that is a remote jack which still has the uh, little cover on it to protect it. Over here we have a nice vacuum fluorescent display. Counter, already seen that. There is the level meter right there. It's one of the earlier ones, as you can no doubt see it's not looking quite as fancy as the later ones. Down here we have uh, input selector, either line or microphone, which also switches over to the DIN jack on the back. Uh, multiplex filter and Dolby noise reduction. This only has Dolby B. Down below we have output level regulator and then next to that the tape selector for all four types, normal, ferrochrome, chrome and metal, it can do them all. And then right there, that's kind of obvious, input level, record level, and the microphone jacks on the front. Here we have the cassette compartment without a cassette in it, so that you can also see that. You can see, you do have a little backlight for the cassette as it plays back, however we also have a little light shining down at the head. That's, uh, that's another nice thing, I do quite like the way they did that. I turn off the lights that I have in here, you can see how that all looks, and you can see whether or not your record playback head is dirty. Then of course, if necessary, you just unscrew the door and clean them. And here we have the back of the unit, unfortunately all made out of plastic. It's not all that great. As we zoom in, there we have the outputs, RCA and DIN, all there. We've got all the information just molded into the plastic. We have some foreign language sticker right there, I'm not sure what that is all about. There is the mains input, and that's that. So there you have it, the Technics RSM250 cassette deck. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.